Consider supporting Sonic Guru Productions on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. Uh, announcement from Steamforge Games. Sonic the Card Game. Mm. What in the absolute hell is the Sonic Card Game? Yeah, well, this just came out of nowhere. But I'm just reading up like the well, the pitch for it apparently says Sonic's name and the speed of the game literally join the beloved Bluebird in a com- competitive card racing game where you collect power ups to ring rings. The Fast Fun family, you'll race through again and again. So there you go. There's your blur, folks. How can a card game be fast paced? <laughs> well, unless you're doing snap. I mean, that involves you quick reflexes to make sure you see the same card. I, I guess. But I'm trying to think of other, other card games, and they basically, unless you know what you're doing, like Yu Gi Oh or Magic, mm. just nothing. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I want to I have a lot to say, but there's practically nothing to say about it. Yeah. Other than, other than Steam Forge has done Dark Souls, a board game and card game, and Don't Make Cry, yeah, yeah. Palace, yeah, and boys. Horizon Zero Dawn, and Impact, Don't Impact Pan and Nino Kuni 2. Yeah, I have checked their website, and they have got other titles under their name, so it, they seem to be doing this well. And what I've I've also seen they've done like traditional ball games with like figurines and stuff, so they seem to know what they're doing. Yeah, and so a lot of these are basically how the hell do you make a board game out of Devil May Cry? <laughs> I was going to say they did that. I mean, I don't know how slay that would demons work. with smoking sexy style. Hmm, it just falls in and up. Yeah, exactly. Just throwing the. Piece of card in. There you go. Okay, the f- okay the figurines look pretty cool, mm. but it's DMC five, so. Well, uh, that's uh, thing. So, yeah, well, I mean that's the one people like, isn't it? My my question is: Is this going to be um, that box set kind of thing, like um, Uno, or is it going to be like a trading card system? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that myself. I mean, probably the the Uno level, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking that seems more reasonable. Because yeah. if, tra- if it was a trading card thing, you guarantee there'll be fucking scalpers along across the fucking board. That's a, well, let's be fair. We were the, remember when Pokemon was a thing back in our time, and you know how many kids kept going, oh, "I've got this really amazing card, but you can't have it because you're not my best friend," or type stuff. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Um, Bruce Two Films is basically saying we got a shiny Charizard. You pretty much were made. Yeah, exactly. That was the goal back as a nine year old. That was the goal. Yeah, I think I think remembering now, I think I inadvertently caused a second surge of Pokemon cards in my school <laughs> once. <laughs> I just brought in some Pokemon cards. It was like I got some I got I had a few holographic ones and then all of a sudden everyone was having Pokemon cards. It's like Jesus okay. Christ, what's this? Magma EX? What the fuck is that? Yeah. Oh. I don't think it will be like that. I mean, partly because I still remember when the this was the confusing. I remember the Sonic the Hedgehog sticker album thing. I know. still have that, yes. Yeah, yeah, I still have that. I've I actually bought a bunch of packs off Amazon because there was a time where you could get them in stores and then they stopped. So I'm hope so I probably got all of them. Hopefully this this very day. I think I had like a six packs sort of boosters and that's it. Mm. Booster packs. What the fuck am I saying? Um, yeah, they're called booster packs. Well, pff, you know, called yeah. different. Right now I'm thinking if it was actually a trading card game, I'm thinking why could it be like the cards from Sonic Rivals? Ooh, well, uh, okay, go. You know, I mean, it's generic artwork, but at least you have to maybe a description and attack and defense power. Like, um, oh, what god game was it? it was it wasn't? It's not Vanguard. It's can't remember, can't remember what game it was, but it kind of had like, I play this card. This character's got ten attack power. Yeah, well, my has, but mine ha- my card has eleven defense, so it doesn't work. Well, but that's very much you, Gio, if you're honestly. I mean, the only other card it's like, game... it's like, like like large numbers. I think Dragon Ball had it once. Mm. I mean, the only other card I can think of is Top Trumps. This is more of a UK thing, isn't they? Yeah, that's the one. Different. That's the one. Right. right. Trump cards. That's the yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one with the numbers and everything. Yeah, because the part of that game is basically you get a selection of cards and you try and rival each one as like I got higher in speed or my character is higher in strength, blah blah blah, and all that crap. So yeah. that's how it works. Right now, I'm thinking how much it would cost to get a supersonic holographic card. 
<laughs> if we're going to go down that route, if we're going to just have history repeat itself. Even now, even now, I think a trading card game would be really good because you could hire different artists. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, haven't they done that with the Pokemon trading cards? Have they got like fan oh, yeah, artists? You got, you got the, um, I think it's like, a, I'm not sure it's fan artists, but you do have a bunch of um, manga artists in Japan who worked on the cards. Mm. And I do remember like some of them would have very different artists working on different cards so you would get a different style from them anyway i hated the cg ones this looks so creepy oh the 3d rendered ones <laughs> yeah this was like just so generic it's like how can a fucking a generic picture of drawing of a weedle look better than the freaking see any of the cg ones yeah well, it was mid 90s back in the day weren't it yeah i i think i think it tricked my mom into actually raising her pocket money level so we can get booster packs oh, it, was, it was it was it was two pound fifty our pocket money at the time allowance mm. was two was two pounds a week. Seems mm. kind of seems kind of low compared to now, but it was kind of built up all, over the month. I was month. going to say inflation. What would that be today's money? Uh, probably like four fifty. But we <laughs> in a, we said, can we have two fifty and have one pound fifty next week? Ugh. Then we didn't tell reminder, and it was still two fifty every single week because every week we got two fifty. And never can look at it because four weeks and then the month we get 10 quid. There you go. Yeah. Oh Inadvertedly boy. raise our pocket money, uh, get a raise for our pocket money for mm-hmm. Pokemon cards. Yeah. I'd be interested to know because they just say, like, if with a Sonic card, you can only use that, but also ring. So maybe items could be used, like literally iron boxes, you know, like, you know, shield, invincibility, all that stuff, maybe for into the mix. Oh, God. And I'll just go basically the, the dialogue of Yu Gi Oh in my head saying, you activated, you activated my trap card. <gasps> Speed shoes. Oh lord! I mean, let's be fair. Yu-Gi-Oh is basically just shouting numbers at each other. It's basically going, "I've got a better card than you." No, you haven't. Yes, I have. 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 Oh shit! You do. Yeah. So it's basically just going, "I'm better than you" for half an hour. I mean, it's just into a sodding anime. All the wrong parts of the anime, anyway. But you're going to be called King of Games, but just focus on the card game. Yeah, I mean, literally, you get like a four part of it, they're literally just still standing there shouting number statistics at each other. It's like, I'll just get on with it. <laughs> it's more than just basically screaming. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. They're just screaming numbers at each other. You, you, if you were a spectator and they're thinking, bloody hell, this is going on for a long time, I think I'll just go off for a drink. Anyway, the card game, not the trading card game, I can only hope. Um, <laughs> I expect it to be launched later this year. So, this is the only bit of something new as far as games go that's been announced, somewhat announced this year. <laughs> 